Hey y'all, it's Demented Caliber here, dipping on some grizzly long coat wintergreen. So here's the second knife I got, but one thing I do have to say about the first knife is that I found out the name of it, and this is the Kershaw Leak. Now on the finish, I can't comment on that just yet because I've seen two different people call it two totally different things. Um, as far as the second part goes, one said it was titanium oxide, the other one said it was titanium anodized. So if you know more about this knife than what I do and these people do, please give the correct information because I'm tired of going through source and source and source and just having people call it different names. I want to know the proper name for the finish on this knife. Um, I do believe it is a sort of a titanium finish. A wood titanium finish, I'm not sure. So, um, yeah. But uh, looking at this knife, it is a really nice knife. It is a no-name brand, unfortunately. Made in China. But um, it's got some uh, pretty neat scales on it. Um, it's actually two wolves, and then up here it has a wolf right here. Probably can't see it that well because it's uh, it's kind of tarnished, like the back portion is kind of tarnished. So once I get home, I'm gonna clean this up and get it looking like those brands making new. But uh, opening up the knife, you actually have another wolf. Is it a wolf? It looks like a wolf, but I can't really tell. Um, so yeah, but uh, it's got a neat little, neat little design on the blade. But like I said, it's uh, stainless china, no name brand. It's a really neat looking knife, more like a novelty collector's knife, but um, it's still pretty cool. This is not a knife I will not use because one, they don't. You know, if they do take an edge, they won't hold an edge, and this is extremely dull. I'm not going to speak hours on it and trying to just sharpen this one knife when I have the uh, Christian Ali and much other knives that are of better quality for the most part but um other than that it's a really neat knife um just a little collector's item and I think I paid like also seven dollars for this knife so that was pretty cool nice little knife <clears throat> but I do have to say guys I am digging the Kershaw Leak because it's easy to carry, it's barely noticeable. And I'm sorry about that, <clears throat> starting to get heartburn, but it's barely noticeable. And uh, it, the clip actually has a firm grip. And one thing I do like about it, and I did not know this because I never really, I, I only own one Kershaw knife, but um, that is this right here it's actually a frame lock and not a liner lock um i see a lot of people prefer frame locks a lot better they're a lot stronger from what i've heard but um other than that kershaw actually makes some decent knives so this is actually pretty sharp um it works good for opening cans of dip um what else it can open i do not know but uh it's two knives go ahead and take the uh, kershaw out of the package so you can get a good look at them so yeah, and I'm going to flip this one this way because it is upside down, and this is not really a pocket knife, it probably had like a little, I want to say like a little case for it, or like a little pouch for it, because there is no, uh, no big pocket clips like this one has, so yeah, that's the two knives next to each other. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Minty Caliber signing out.